Hi everyone, this is Tim in eLearning, and today in this video we're going to be looking at moderating quizzes. This is when you need to make a modification or an accommodation for a particular student that might need additional time, um, whether that means additional days or additional minutes or additional attempts. So let's take a look. So here I have a quiz. It's set up with uh, no time limit and uh, no multiple attempts, and it's assigned to everybody. So let's take a look at how we can modify this for a particular student. So first I'm going to go to edit and then come all the way down to the very bottom. And first we'll look at the assign to box. The assign to box is where we designate who we're going to assign this quiz to. So right now it's assigned to everyone and it's given a due date of July 13th. If one particular student needed to have a different due date for maybe they had a medical issue or they had already scheduled something that they were out of town and, and you had accepted this as, an, as a reasonable need, um, then what you can do is come down, click on Add, and that gives you a new box to assign a certain person. So you can see that here we have um, the, the full course, but we have also the list of the different students. So if I needed to give Jacqueline some extra time, I could click on Jacqueline and then say, okay, her due date is, I'm going to give her until Saturday to complete the quiz. So now you can see this is assigned to Jacqueline with this due date, and now this has changed to everyone else with this particular due date. So now we've given her additional two days. And I'll go ahead and save that. If I was needing to give students an additional attempt, I can come up here to this moderate this quiz tool in the upper right hand corner. And here I have a chance to moderate the attempts. So here I can see that everyone has one attempt left because no one has taken this quiz yet. But if for some reason I needed to give Jamie extra attempts because that was somehow in her IEP or somehow agreed upon accommodation, then I can say here she's going to get one extra attempt and then I can save that. And now I can see that Jamie has two attempts left, whereas everyone else has one attempt left. Let me go back one set here. If I needed to give students extra time, this is a, this is a common um, accommodation that's needed um, for disability services. Um, let me go into edit. First, I would have to assign a time limit so let's say that students were going to need to uh, do this in 10 minutes. So if the students have a 10 minute time limit there, I'm going to save that down at the bottom. And then again, if I had a particular student that needed additional time, I could come up to moderate this quiz tool. And we'll pick on Jamie again. I'll moderate Jamie so that now you'll notice that I have a new box. And again, notice that that box didn't show up before because there was no time limit set for this quiz. So now that I have designated that there is a time limit, now this additional um, area is available in the uh, student extensions window here. So now if, for example, the modification is that I, I give her twice as much time, I will say that she gets 10 additional minutes. So this is extra time that I'm giving. Everyone already gets 10 minutes. I'm going to give Jamie an additional 10 minutes as well. So now I hit save. And it says here, Jamie gets extra 10 minutes on each attempt. And she's got two attempts. All right. So hopefully that helps you meet the accommodations that are being asked by the Disability Support Services and helps you to manage your quizzes more effectively. Let us know in e-learning if you have any questions.